All right, guys, welcome back into this game. We're going to try to get to another different route here. In this case, we're not going to believe in whatever Iris said to us. A door or gate? A door or gate? It is closed. This is a new one. <laughs> That's a big... A vending machine. Now we're going to make something else here. Instead of making the disco ball, we're going to make something else. It was bugging me. One moment. Done. Does this crafting table even do anything really? The switch is done. What switch? Just watch. What are you doing, Dante? Fight nice with the power of dance! Date, don't listen to her. So, this is what nice looks like. Yep. <laughs> and as you can see, you cannot believe in this everything you see. Behind all this. Was Iris lying to me? I'm not lying! Project Bluebeam is using holograms to trick you! You can't let it fool you! You have to use the power of dance! Huh? Oh, look at that! The enemies disappeared! <clears throat> we still have lots of time here. I'm going to talk to this individual right here. Someone's there? Who is this? Futoshi? That is not Mama. Futoshi. Can I talk to him? Definitely Futoshi. I heard that Futoshi left on a journey to Sri Lanka to cultivate tea leaves. What? Really, Futoshi? You're just gonna leave Ikuno behind? Someone's there? Excuse me, who are you? What the? They're a monster in marble. Hey, don't say that about Mama. Oh, please. Is that this man? What? You know him? Not exactly. He is a familiar face that has appeared in many unrelated people's dreams. He is an urban legend of sorts. If you are interested, I can tell you more later. No, that's okay. You're a material? There's a crafting table here as well. <clears throat> Craft and A. What is N A? I see. You can take advantage of this glitch, Gate. But I don't know anything about guitars. I said glitch, not gretch. I could do that? This game is filled with bugs and programming errors. We can take advantage of that to reveal things not supposed to be seen. 
I see. Let's try it. Understood. Alright, well, you're looking at that. What? It spent the this man material. We can use you? Is it a glitched skill? Oh, I see. How about that? Anything change? The numbers have changed. What, is it August 32nd? No, the pickaxe is level 255. That's pretty extreme. But with this glitched item, we may be able to destroy something we were not supposed to be able to. Something in the game world. Or rather, something Iris doesn't want us to destroy. <clears throat> oh, you see this shrine wall right here? Strange wall. I see. I just need to use the pickaxe. You're right. Do it. Leave it to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Man, this is taking way too long. You know, well, finally, we're done. <clears throat> the wall disappeared. The iris is bloomed? No, this is no miracle. Merely the result of the game's programming changing the iris from wilted to bloom. That can't be. Dante, what are you doing? What about the monument? What about fighting knives? Tell her that we have the strongest pickaxe. We don't need that. Let's continue. Wait! Dante! No! Don't abandon me! I have to try a different route, otherwise it's not going to work. Wow! So we're moving behind the scene right here. Look at this. Awesome. Using the glitch wall. Glitch way, to be precise. You need to use the bathroom. Now's the time. <clears throat> this is taking way too long. Oh, there we go. We finally managed to get behind it. This is Golden Yokocho, not the world of Shovel Forge. This might be Iris's real Samia. There's nothing here. We have no choice but to move forward. Is this the exit? Let's go in. We're back. <clears throat> hey, look. Well, oh, would you look at that? What? A pyramid? Iris! Let's help Iris. Let's help her by freeing her from her world of delusion. Reveal the truth hiding inside her imagination, Date. A mirror door. But I'm not reflected in it. Well said, Date. No, you can't! Then I will do it! Stop, please! Please! Ah! Is this... Iris when she was a child? Iris, this is all in your head. You're imagining it. It's not real. No, you're wrong, Dante! 
Aiba. What? Let's end this. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> we'll figure it out. And now we should be able to save her from her delusions. By taking different routes before making it to this point, we should be able to destroy it. Let's go and talk to her. Time to 10. There we go. We should have more than enough time with this. That thing there. Destroy it. No, stop. Understood. Please stop. Stop. <clears throat> we have already seen what happened if you decide to trust in Iris or maybe her, you know, delusions of reality. So now we decide not to do it. And it seems like we're getting to where it's a good point here. It looks like everything is going to be fine. Iris is reading something in her home. Oh. Yeah. She's reading the occult magazines. That's probably the reason why. Release Iris from her delusions. <clears throat> yep. You didn't believe Iris. And I was correct not to. I mean, I've already seen what happened if I decide to trust her blindly. I have a feeling this might be the road to the true ending. Maybe. Because so far nobody has died yet. <clears throat> Masushita Diner, Tuesday, 1 a.m. Okay, I think I got it. So it's like this. Date and Tessa were attacked at Golden Yokocho by a group of unknown gunmen? No, not unknown. They were hired by Nyes at Laws, also known as Nyes. I found out Nyes' secret, and now they want me dead. Date, is this for real? It's true that we were shot at by armed gunmen, but the Nyes part... Just sing earlier. It didn't prove our story. It only made me more skeptical. Iris is lying, maybe even unknowingly. She believes that she is being targeted by Nice. She sincerely does, but that's not the truth. Date, you don't believe me? I thought about it carefully before answering. Iris, let me be honest. I think you're letting your imagination get the better of you. It's not my imagination! Why don't you believe me? Date, you're just being stubborn! You're, you're just a cynical old man who doesn't believe in anything! Then you have to give me proof. If you can't show me proof, I can't believe you. Iris, seriously, you're imagining things. Fine then. I was stupid to think I could trust you, Date. And then she walked away. Iris stood up and walked away. We can still talk to Ota though. Do you believe any of this? Date, you don't believe Tessa, right? Right. You don't believe Nice at Laws exists? No, I don't. Then why was she almost kidnapped? I don't know. But it might have something to do with Renju. He was looking for Iris. In any case, we don't know who's behind it. But we know she's in danger. 
which is why I came here. I need you to hide, Iris. What? I need to go somewhere. To Hitomi's residence. Yeah, I need to talk to her immediately. Where's Iris? There's a room back there she kind of made her own. She's probably there. She's certainly made herself at home. Has Iris been back there before? Yeah, Tess has been here a few times. Is that a problem? Well, yeah. If you make her mad, you make me mad. Well, I guess you'll have to be mad then. She had to hear the truth. The cold, hard truth. Even if that's true, you could have worded it nicer. You could have handled this better, Date. I think so as well. You are as clumsy as ever. <laughs> really now? I was just trying to save her life. Hide Iris? I mean, I don't mind, but... Why here? The organization that I'm in may have a traitor, so I can't take her to HQ. That of course means that I can't take her to my house either. So I thought this diner would be a good place. Her enemies wouldn't look for her here. If she's here with you guys, I know that she's safe. <laughs> Wait, you guys? Yeah, I'm expecting one more. Any minute now. Yeah, I'm expecting Mizuki to walk right in right now. Yep, of course. Mizuki? Don't it's... worry, I understand everything. I'll protect Iris. <laughs> anyway. Okay. If they do manage to find her here, having Mizuki around should help, right? R right. I know how strong she is. Good luck, you two. Thanks, Date. Now we need to go and talk to. Yeah. He told me, the mother of ours. We have arrived at second residence. Date. I'm sorry for coming so late. I need to talk to you about Iris. What is it? I still myself and continue. Iris said something to me that was very concerning. She said she's being targeted by an organization called Nizet Laws and that she needs help. Does any of this sound familiar? I decide not to tell her about the shooting at the Golden Yokocho. I didn't want her to worry. After a while, he told me smoke. I didn't intend to hide it from you. I just never found the right time. Huh? She's... sick. Iris has a malignant brain tumor. A brain tumor? It makes her say strange things sometimes. I see. Her delirium could be a result of a brain tumor. It can also cause hallucinations and violent thoughts. It makes sense. Everything Iris said was likely a result of her condition. Iba summarized it so bluntly, so calmly, but I could not stay calm. The words, malignant brain tumor, circled my mind. How long has she, has she been sick for? We found out in January. She suddenly collapsed at school. She went to the hospital and they examined her. They found a tumor. According to the doctor, surgery wouldn't help. You mean? Grade four. Terminal. She has a year to live. At most. That's what the doctor told me. And if they were right, then she only has a few months left. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Has Iris contacted you? Yes. She said she was staying with a friend. She's with Mizuki, but it still bothers me. I'm so worried that I couldn't sleep. Does Iris know? I didn't tell her the specifics, but I'm sure she knows. It's a brain tumor. It can cause a number of side effects. Nausea and dizziness. 
Sometimes her hands and legs go numb. Uh, yeah. That was back at the diner. We saw that back then. But I never thought anything about it. I just saw this. Sometimes she can't control her body temperature. Oh, uh, that's the reason why she felt no, cold. But I am kind of warm. What? That was all caused by your brain tumor? Is there any way to save her life? Ordinary treatments won't work, but there is one way to save her life. Which is? Who's calling here? Date, it's from Mizuki. <sighs> Why now? Sorry, could you excuse me? I stood up and went to the corner of the room to answer Mizuki's call. Date, I'm I'm sorry. I What? What happened? Iris, she she's gone. She disappeared. I only took my eyes off her for a second. What? Where did she go? I don't know. That's why I'm calling. <sighs> I'm going with the person I trust most. Please don't worry about me, Iris. Huh. Iris. I have tried calling Iris with a different line. I cannot connect. It is probable that she turned her phone off. Damn. Mizuki, let's split up and find her. Let Ota know too. Did something happen? She was eavesdropping. No point hiding it. I told her that Iris was missing. What? He told me went quiet. She didn't ask why she disappeared. I'm sure she thinks it's a tumor. She thinks that Iris' illness is making her go insane. Iris said that she was going with somebody. With the person she trusts most. Any idea who that might be? No. Okay. I'm gonna go look for her. I'll go too. No, please, stay here. She might come home. But... It's alright. I'll find her. Trust me. Okay. <clears throat> Why are we going to find her? It's not like we have any knowledge here. Date, the person in Iris's letter, the one she trusts most. Who do you think that is? Uh, how am I supposed to know? Ranju, uncle, me, tell me. None of this makes sense. Uncle? Probably the uncle. The man who told me was dating six years ago. Probably that guy, but we don't know who he is. He was a thoughtful, reliable man. I thought of him as a father. But Iris said that she was looking for him. What are the odds she found him just now? I don't think that's possible. You kidding me now? What the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh, yes, that must be it. Right now, Iris is heading home and we just missed her. No, Date. If that were the case, she wouldn't have written it like that. Think harder. I think so too. Remember what Iris said? I look up to him. He's done so much for me. I know I can rely on him more than anyone else. A 
According to the mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. He was looking for Iris. I think Renju called Iris. And Iris went looking for him. Exactly. Then what can I do? We've been looking for Renju. Everyone at HQ is looking for him too. Not to mention he's on the run with number 89. And even with all of that, we haven't found him. We don't even have any leads. If we only had some clues to work with... Then we wouldn't be in this mess. Are you giving up? Iris might be with number 89 at this very moment. We need to find her immediately. Now think, Date. Where would Renju go? How the hell should I know? Let me escape, second household, his house, sunfish pocket. It's uh. Renju's house is currently occupied by officers from HQ. If he went back there, we would have been contacted. The cold storage warehouse? The cold storage warehouse. Maybe he's there. That's the only thing I can guess. But it seems like it was the correct choice. But can we do anything about it though? We have arrived at the cold storage warehouse. <sighs> There's no one here. There is no one here. Damn. He's not here. Let's go, Iba. Wait. What's wrong? Is there someone here? No living organisms detected. Then... No living organisms detected. Oh, there's a dead body here. You mean? Uh oh. Let's search the area. There is a dead we body might here. Be able to find something. God damn it! The shells, box, forklift, ice cutting machine. X-ray. Wait. No. This can't be. Don't even tell me Iris is down there. Whoa. Wait. Who this woman? She kind of looked like Iris, but not her. No, this is not Iris. This is not Iris. This is someone else. I don't think this is Iris. The case remains unsolved. Agent Date, you've A got bird four cage. mixed. There are ripped people. All right. All right, let's see what's in here. We decided to go to the left cage this time. Let's see what's inside. <sighs> Nothing happened. All I did was move the cage. There are torn pieces of paper. We need to place them together. Leave it to me. I enjoy puzzles like this. Done. But... You were able to get out? 
So the photo was the key. I remember it clearly. One day I came home to find that photo torn up in the trash can. When I asked Mizuki about it, she started to cry. I don't know why she tore up that photo. But whatever her reason, it seems like she regrets it. Wait for me a little bit since we repair the photo in the summon the bird cage. Alright, I have closed the door. Jesus Christ, they never closed the door when they went inside my room. Must be having a hard time. But the cage is gone. We can get to Mizuki now. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? You can do it if you try a little. No, you can't. All right, fine. We have to stop the spinning. The panda ride. The panda head is spinning. You need to stop from spinning. Why? Maybe it's like the speaker before. Hmm. Yep. You stop moving. See. These were also linked. That's right. No, Mizuki's in there. So we should head inside and talk to her. Let's go to her. Got it. You have three minutes, Dante. It's Mizuki. We can slap her, hug her, make her laugh. Or I know what we need to do. We need to hug her. That's what happened last time when I decide To go with the balloon route as well. This is the only way to calm her down. You can see the footsteps of somebody here. I'm not so sure who it is. Probably the killer. Yeah, that must be it. Ha, huh? Mizuki, awaken. <clears throat> Day two, Saturday. Make AI. All right, all right. Are you okay? Looks like she can talk again. After she had calmed down, I asked her a few questions. I asked her about last night, about the night message, about Oda. And about Shoto. I know that after Ota ran off, something must have happened to make Mizuki want to hide. Caught on the suspect. How would I know? We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent.
No need to report specifics. We saw it all. Yeah, I've always seen this. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and Iba. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki, when we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was... It was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I... The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So, you panicked and pulled it out? Yeah. And you held on to it when you hid in the column? Yeah. Okay, just one more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Boss shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. There's nothing left. Let's go and talk to Pewter. We know this guy I work for. Ranchu and number 89. Whatever. Can we just skip believe. this? Yeah, don't call me dumb, blah, blah, blah. Hey, pewter. I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. What part of that was my taste? I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Pewter, I was broken. She's talking crazy. I am not broken. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. It was just a little something. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? About the ad figure I saw. No, oh, that. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki saw me and couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Dante? That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories, intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. About Somnium. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are... Yeah, we have already done that. What do you think the suspect is? Peter, who do you think the culprit is? Well, let's see. Perhaps... It was you, Special Agent Dotty. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, there's nothing left. 
How are you doing? I told you I'm fine. So annoying. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. Uh. I see she is back to her usual self. Her attitude is within normal parameters. I think I liked her better when she was silent. <laughs> yeah, say that to her face. I'm fine now. But I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Stu, you said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Aphonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. We'll send you another message. I... I can't tell you. Why not? Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. I don't think she is going to answer. When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. About that figure I saw. Say, Mizuki, who was that figure I saw? What? Insomnia, in your dream. I saw a silhouette. Date, Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience Somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone. In the corner, past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene, but she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. I'm going down. Let's do it. <sighs> we will be able to uncover more secrets here. When I returned to the scene, I brought Mizuki with me. I saw a suspicious figure in Somnia, but I couldn't be sure of its exact location. I brought Mizuki along to help pin it down. Somewhere around here, right? Yep. <clears throat> you mean this bush right there? It's coming. Brush and weights now, but I can still make out the trail heading, heading back. The figure went this way. Are you cold? What do you care? You never cared about me ever. And I liked it that way. I don't want you getting close to me. You think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Did you think, aw, how sweet she likes me? Don't get it twisted. I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or a cactus. In fact, I wish it were a cactus. So stop worrying about me, okay? So she says. Do you remember anything? Yeah, I do. 
What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. I was four. I remember it so clearly. This is where I saw my mom and dad smile. I had so many happy memories here. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. But now, this is where mom What's wrong? Nothing. Just wondering where this goes. Mizuka is looking behind the bush. I guess I should check it out. Iba, what's past here? This leads to the subway. The subway? It has of course closed down. It is no longer in service. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. Bloom Park closed for the same reason. As did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. You know what it means? Something big happened years ago here. And that's the reason why it was shut down. Is there anything I can do here? Subway. Iba, does the entire track run underground? No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross the surface street at some point. Correct. A railroad, railroad crossing. Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? I'm just thinking. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. A black SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who was it? Renju, right? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Renju Okiura. Of course, this has to be him in the other version. We saw him taking off. So let me get I this mean... straight. You think that daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel Stopped at the closed down station and carried mom's body to the park? I can't prove it was Renju. There's a chance someone else was driving the car. Yeah. Yeah. But, in any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Using that subway station, he could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Daddy didn't do it! I am not so certain. Either way, I have to talk to Renju. And you can help me find him. About the suspicious figure. Hey Mizuki, tell me again. The person you saw at the merry-go-round. No, it wasn't Daddy. I know it wasn't. You're sure? Well, I... When was the last time you saw your dad? I think about a week ago. When I went to hang out at Lemnus Gate. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Not even for his own daughter. That is very unusual. Something happened to him. That must be it. I don't remember. It was a while ago. What about you? What about me? You tried calling him. I did. I called earlier and I tried a few times last night. And he didn't pick up? No. You look like you want to say something. I don't want to say anything. 
I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to anyone who thinks my daddy is a killer. Look, I don't want to believe it either. I've known him for more than five years now. He's like family to me. I would never want to put costs on him. I would never want Mizuki to see that. You know what, Renshu just isn't the kind of guy who would commit a crime like this. About that Nile message. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime right there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. But it couldn't be him. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone else must have used his phone. And his car. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. The killer did it, not Daddy. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. I mean, that might seem to be the case, but... You know that, oh, you know that we have the parallel walls and lots of things going on here, so... Connected. Hey, I just got the report from Iba. Renju is a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. He's been acting strange since last night. He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder, either. He doesn't? No, not one we can corroborate. Why did you release him? So Renji was questioned at a local station? That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. He wasn't a suspect then and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. Now I told you he vanished. Where are you headed? Renji's house. Don't bother. I had local cops search the place. They didn't find anything. Where could he be? He didn't give us any new information. He didn't have much to say at all, really. Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time. But that means no one can back up his story. Music, I look like I'm talking to a Bluetooth. She doesn't see what I see. Okay. All right, boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Where the hell did Renju go? Uh, Sun Poke? What? Um, Sunpoke or something. Okay, the mermaid bar. Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Yep. Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he runs. I mean, maid cafe, not not maid bar. Six point two miles north northeast in Akihabara.